In this video, we bring you the story of a baby Tusker who was injured by a gunshot. It was a gloomy evening and officers were hanging out for a while when they got a message about this little one. In a moment, officers departed to see him. After he'd been attacked, he has walked near the forest boundary. Villagers have noticed the aggressive behavior of him. Even if they tried to feed him, he has reacted in a much aggressive manner. It was darkened when the officers found him lying near a brushwood. Officers could see that he was groaning in pain and they felt sorry to see the critical wounds on the tusker who was still in the growing stage. He reacted aggressively due to the pain and he had no idea that the vets were coming to treat him. Vets could not reach this baby tusker until he was fully sedated. Sedative drugs were given according to the body weight by visually observing his weight. Officers prepared the sedative drug accordingly and darted using a tranquilizer gun. Suddenly, when the officers shot the drug, he came roaring to attack them. Officers ran out to save their lives. Unlike tamed elephants, treating wild tuskers is a tough mission. Officers let their lives in risk to save these elephants. He has gone far away from the forest boundary until he was being sedated. It took about 10 minutes to totally sedate him. Officers, left with a shortened period of time, had to finish off all the necessary treatments before the tusker got back to his normal aggressive behavior. He was given antibiotics, multivitamins, anti-inflammatory, painkillers, and all the other necessary drugs to cure the wound by visually observing his body weight. Multivitamins are given to boost energy and immunity, since the elephant was weakened due to a lack of food. Antibiotics will boost immunity within the tusker's body to expedite the wound healing process. Antibiotics are usually given intramuscularly and they will fight against the secondary microbial infections on wounds. Anti-inflammatory will prevent the inflammations and infection to inner organs. Painkillers will prevent the tusker from the severe pain until his wound gets cured. Officers have identified an enlargement on his back leg and it was stuck because it has been a few days since he has had the shot. Medicines were given to relax those muscles too. Officers could not perform orderly surgeries inside the field. Since there is no life threat from the wound, vets do their best to prevent the infection from spreading further. Tuskers can be known as a beautiful creation of nature. There's a rare chance for an elephant to become a tusker. Elephant tusks evolved from teeth, providing an evolutionary benefit to the species. They are used for a range of tasks, including digging, lifting items, obtaining food, removing bark from trees to consume, and defense. The tusks help guard the trunk which serves as another useful tool for drinking, breathing, and feeding, among other things. Elephants, like people, can be left or right-handed. They also have left or right tusks. The dominant tusk is usually more worn down as a result of constant use. Tusks are present in both male and female African elephants, but only male Asian elephants. And nowadays, only a small fraction of males have them. Thus, all of us have to do a huge responsibility towards protecting them. Tuskers usually live for about 50 to 60 years. It is in vain if these giants get lost during the early stages of their lives. I'm 
After all the treatments were done, the revival drug was given to an ear vein to reinstate him. But the officers had to make a great effort to stand him up. As you can see, one of the officers reached this aggressive elephant and gave him a push. We should not forget the dedication of these officers, even putting their own lives at risk. Thus, we are so grateful for the entire rescue team. As mentioned, this particular incident has happened by a trap gun, which was banned by the government. These are homemade tactics that farmers use to protect their crops from being attacked by the elephants. There are many alike solutions by farmers, such as jaw bombs, bullets, and digging gullies, etc. It is evident that even if the rules are imposed, not only those rules can totally control human attitudes. Most of the baleful incidents occur as a result of the human intervention towards the animal's behavior. As we continually stressed in our videos, many instances are man-made as a result of the human-elephant conflict. The ultimate result could be worsened as to vanish the endemic species of elephants from Earth. By now, Asia has already faced that threat since 95% of the endemic species has already been threatened. Root cause for the issue was identified as expansion of human activities into animal landscapes. Being animal, we thoroughly believe that proper strategies should be placed in order to prevent the issue in the long term.